Yo, people going back to the fix. Quick fix that is it's your boy now here with Ariane Javi. <laughs> what was that? I don't even I don't even know. I just that? I just make sure you wash it more than Ari Javi. Ari. It Javi. just look like you didn't make up a TikTok dance on the spot. <laughs> Speaking of Ah oh God, it's quick fix time, people. Yes. For those of you who don't know what the this is, <laughs> Javi, tell them what it's all about, please. But before you do that, tell them which brought to them by. Yes, you're really hungry. And the quick fix is brought to you by Prison Marketing Consultants, the public relations and media platform catering to the Caribbean diaspora. Now, quick fix is a roundup of the news that we've missed in the week. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So TikTok could lose more publishers as per Billboard, the National Music Publishers Association, NMPA, warned some of its members on Tuesday that the organization's license with TikTok ends April 30th and it does not anticipate to renew, extend or form a new license with the platform. This means that a lot more music could be removed from TikTok come May, spreading the reach of recent music takedowns far beyond what users have already already experienced since Universal Music Group began pulling its recorded music and publishing catalogs off the platform in the last month. Now guys, I have to ask, what do we make of this? Who wants to go first? Uh, let me go first. So this whole thing, it probably not going to affect, not, not probably, it's not going to affect the majority of the artists locally here. All we are going. As Leng say, no far no do ever sign to, to, to labels. Like, no far no, no do ever know what the fuck are going. All we are going. Yeah. But let me tell you what the, what this does serve to highlight and it will serve to highlight is that a lot of these artists, local and even internationally, it will serve to highlight how lazy the music industry has become when them div- well, them depend upon random virality. Mm. A lot of the artists now, especially locally, from what I've seen, they is almost like TikTok or nothing. Yeah. They make a song, and then the next step is for them to or the next thinking in their minds is that oh, we need to make this viral on TikTok. When mm. it is not the way to go. Going viral on TikTok is not a surefire way for a long lasting career in a music and, with, and I feel like this mm. I gonna serve for really highlight that all I go on. So all of the artists them who feel like say or TikTok are the thing and feel like say yeah let me just make a song and then me get a dance and me try you see me get my money for pay rebel for do a TikTok dance so you see me bust the song yeah this may just be the harbinger of doom for TikTok all I go on when it comes on to artistry and music on the app is it feel like the people them still got able to make their money upon tiktok like the beggars yeah but <laughs> like for music on the app and busting music on the app this almost feel like the death nail all we are going because a whole heap of music they get Cut taken the off from the the first is it because it's what it was instance. universal mm-hmm. first and mm-hmm. they know this is another yeah. label, label that yeah. is following suit um I think, you know, we've we've spoken to Adam and Adam is like, social media should be just one of the tools that you use to promote your music, but not the only tool that you Mm -hmm. use to promote your music. Mm -hmm. And he's so right. Like, you know, like we have to think of TikTok as a distributor and we have to think of it as a, and it's not a, and it's not something that you own, you know? And if somebody can like, just pl- um, flip a switch essentially what universal doing and this what's the name of this um record label again national music publishers association right can just flip a switch and remove your song like you just have to figure out like or you just have to keep in mind that well it's just a tool and you can't just really be solely reliant on it yeah so i feel like you know artists need to kind of and just even think about it where it's not just like a tiktok song you know like you, you it, it, because most of most of us kind of think of it oh it's just a tiktok song Mm -hmm. you know but can it live outside of tiktok and then that's where again too you'd see the cream that rises to the top where Mm -hmm. you can't just as you as you mentioned or just use a quick out or a quick a quick fix (laughs) as um tiktok (laughs) 
but to see if can you do long lasting song can you create a song with longevity you know that will find its audience without tiktok yeah. so these are the things that you have to think about so you know and, and i'm thinking more people are following suit mainly because and i mean this thing is wholly political too i don't know if yes, you realize is. that um the u.s senate and congress sorry them did a drill the ceo of tiktok and asked him if he's a chinese um national and if I'm Singaporean. Was, Singaporean like <laughs> you know so it's all political the US government is trying to crack down on TikTok I guess they don't like that TikTok is again a use as a distribution for information and they think that is coming from communist the communist country China <laughs> so it's all political again yeah. it's, so use it as a tool not the only tool so yeah. yeah I hope this is the lesson that is learned so on advice alrighty moving on Jamaican football legend Alan Skillcole and Bob Marley's former manager recently shared in an interview that Cindy Breakspear was equally important to Bob like Rita. Here's a clip. She was such an integral part of his life during that time. And uh, it was an affair that was really, it was, was real because I was there, I was in the middle of it and I saw it all happen. But Rita was the big female presence in his life, the mother of so many of his children well, and the she, person uh, whom he married. Marley would go around and tell people that he wasn't married. He told, it, it, it's a story that he tells all the girls. He's, he's, he's seen on national television. Yes, at the first she was his, his you know, his first love, to, to be frank. And she did a lot for him too. And same can be said about Cindy. After that went sour, I think he found comfort in her and she had, I mean, she helped, it, she helped him with his it's coming to fame. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this, Ari? <laughs> I saw my kind of know my kind of all. <laughs> because I don't think this is the first time Alan has spoken about this mm. on ER. Yeah. So I was wondering, is this a repeat? Come and no one said them talk about this before. Come and used to watch ER. <laughs> Every Friday, mm -hmm. every single like, so Anthony couldn't, Miller just trying to stir some shit. I couldn't do so. I couldn't do nothing. Like me have to come home before eight thirty, and me have to tune in and leave. And if anything, me have to leave after nine. That was that was it. But um, no, I mean, I'm, this is the first. I, I know this is not the first time I've heard this information, but I guess he's just keeping with the conversation with the movie and mm -hmm. you know the um, Cindy, yeah, being edited out. So it's just to remind us that yeah, they're, they're two. Bob had two great loves, Rita and Cindy, and I guess he's just trying to advocate that you know, he might try advocate for him friend who is dead, who can't speak for himself, and I just try to say, well, listen, I know. That Bob loves Cindy. Mm -hmm. Him love Rita, you know. Him did love Rita. Him never claim him did marry, but that's a problem. Him did have, but they, he loved both Cindy and Rita. So I don't know. This movie boy. <laughs> This movie. But Jamaica said kick drama. up rumpus. Right. No, all we are going on, on the drama outside of the movie, out with the drama in the movie. Right? Way better. Way better. Yeah. Way better. Yo, Alan Skill Cool. I feel like this is kind of like snitching on the homie a bit. <laughs> in a way, you know what I mean? Is like, it snitching? No, or no, is in it a like way, in a way, because it's like, yo. Speaking up for you, know, you know, then. Like, you know, with the bridge, I say, I'm too like her like that. Like, I don't wonder me really like her. But I just feel like that type of information he might bring to the public when he shouldn't. But he Even said. though we've heard recordings of Bob saying it himself, say, yo, yeah, me never really married in you know, all But I just feel like, say, yo, Alan Skilko shouldn't dep on TV at that them thing. <laughs> I feel like, say, this is something that the man told him in confidence and used to talk with him, bridging them and say, yeah, you know, say, I seen the thing really. I'm going to be like, say, really shouldn't have fought with it all. Men are embarrassing, uh, dead or alive. Right? And that's the people that say, about Bob, you know, yo, point. Bob are still legends. So all the people that say, about, oh, Bob, have you come down? Really, no? Really? He's been <laughs> down. You're, you're really busy after all these years now. Knows the time I come down, really? Okay. Mm? Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. telling out with all of that. And him legacy <laughs> done entrenched in the culture yeah. and in the nation already. So, you uh, think uh, these things would affect his, like, hero status? I think it has over the years mm. i think it has you know mm. i mean so even though he's much revered mm -hmm. and th there's sections of people that think he should them thing i just serve as a or, as a sort of quiet reminder say yeah them thing I but I, you probably know is thinking, the reason why yeah i was thinking that i kind of like mm, about hero status because i feel like when you're a hero you have to do something like revolutionary almost like put your life on the line or your life could be put on the line no people no people or, would say that bob fit that criteria 
Did he, what? He's the revolutionary with the music in life. They get put on the line. Yeah. No people hmm. would say that. And again, that so then that alone should be the only merit. Because human beings, like men are flawed. True. Mm-hmm. You know, they True. weren't all perfect people. True. Who, you know, they're not everybody's perfect and they all have them flaws and them issues. Who was, just the, that, who was the last person to be appointed or appointed but named the national year? It would have been Busta and, and Manly, the mother. So, yeah, so Baba the close up um, person to social media era where rumors are mixed up tied to him. I'm sure it's some of them era. <laughs> era you did close to this era. And you this time, you don't have some more dirt on them. I just, I just, That's yeah. true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Oh, boy. Big up Cindy. Big up, big up, <laughs> big up Cindy, big up the old Marley clan. We're looking forward to one of two Cindy's. I revenge. know what's so funny. Then probably I'll just have one big happy family. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 never know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the social media are different from reality. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So, as per the Gleaner, Councillor elect Winston Ennis has acknowledged that he was the person heard in a leaked voice message announcing that he had walked away from the Jamaica Labour Party, but he has since had a change of heart. Ennis admitted in a media statement on Wednesday that the leaked voice note was sent to a JLP affiliated group where his sentiments were expressed in the heat of the moment. He complained in the voice note that the way I have been treated and disrespected i am not having any more of it i am tired of the disrespect and i'm going further with it so i have walked away from the jlp he said and it's retained the waterloo division in the kingston and st andrew municipal corporation kcmc for the jlp in last week's local government election the kc <laughs> The KSAMC is deadlocked at 20 divisions each for the JLP and the Opposition People's National Party. In get a page. <laughs> in get a wicked page. Yeah, yeah, when I go around, I ain't no talk. Uh, you know why? When no saying get a page, Warmington. The f- when me hear that news, the first about Warmington, mm-hmm. I will miss them put out the little in you know, the release. I'm like, he was fired. This little pretty thing with them a try and no, 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 no. But he walked away and yeah. now we know, me know all them talk, what them talk they really mean. And so said, so done, in far out, in true Warmington fashion on TV. I say, I was fired. I was fired. <laughs> you know what I mean? But do say Warmington, they never go about no talk. Our people rate about it. The man straight forward. And I, what him says, I say, yes, I knew it. So I miss them little thing here go on the man say, hmm, some spin doctor and I go on there. So he can get up here and I said, brother, you're not leaving because if you leave, we're going to lose this. <laughs> and I mean, I want to give them more grounds to PNP. Yeah. So yeah, you better stay for now, at least for now. I could find a next way for kind of usher you out. But yeah, you're not left yes, and not like this. You can get a page, man. I'll go on. Yeah, you can get a page. You could, you could tell. You can get a page. You want more money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Jesus, is that funny? No, (laughs) murder. All right. Um. Yeah. 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 Him get a page. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Why you ask me? Special government agent. I I feel like he really did because it is nowhere on the internet that. The, uh, the initial voice, voice note. note I yeah. can't find it for shit um so yeah it looks like everybody gets a page <laughs> who had it on their pages um yeah it was kind of out of left field and it kind of annoying because I'm like why would you say this like if you had any issues with the party or whatever you know just say like and try for rectify the situation internally instead of because it felt like he was sending a voice note to a friend yeah and then the friend or whoever like a confidant associate somebody and him and the person leak it um because he was saying that he's an independent he's going to be an independent party and and it's like it's frustrating to me because one of the things is the pnp they had their fracture and that was one of the reasons why people were kind of um unconfident about them so when you see this now it's like why are you trying to do that like any every when you have people dealing with everybody have an issue and that's what i mean i'm not really think me can be enough 
politician make a candy with so much people like he's a simple thing mm. just for talk about it if you want i don't know if it's because he wants he wanted to be the mayor and then probably gonna get to delroy that was one speculation i heard i don't know yeah but um yeah it's just like just have the conversation like why are you going to do this now and then it, the optics of it don't look good for the overall party mm-hmm. you know and and huh? well we intern does the same f- fine advice now. you just uh, find a voice note okay him <laughs> So, just, <laughs> so we're gonna insert the voice note <laughs> but yeah um yeah so it's just like you know it, it the optics of it don't look good and 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 that's what i don't like about it like it could have been settled internally for you to then do this now 180 and like oh i'm not walking away no matter right. what you've heard yeah. and it's almost like you had a gun to your head embarrassing yeah. there's a video out there was saying oh, this was him yeah yeah where them are playing where them are playing is him 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 him, him. <laughs> Was it was was a release or was I interview him? The no, order of him are basically yeah. are retract. Yeah. Well, yeah. we just remember the Cat Williams. Yeah. If you do not do yeah. what we are for say. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's the frustrating thing. And I hope the party, the PM the JLP recognize that mm-hmm. you know fr- a fractured party doesn't make for a confident party. Like for a people the people put them trust in you. You know? Mm-hmm. So any issues them have just please settle it internally and and i find it very weird with warmington because warmington was uncharacteristic ali friendly to the media and that man is like get away don't yes. put nothing on my face and da, da, da. so when you're like oh, oh hey sudden. come here mm-hmm. yes I was, I was like really that's why i feel like i could have really? get an interview with warmington <laughs> warmington's people reach out no? they would have loved to talk to the g <laughs> No, yeah. but are you are correct oh, in that the JLP now seems like a house divided. No, it's not a house divided. It was seem like that. I'm saying it, like these it little doesn't, cracks no, that we no, see it's happening. it's not. It's not a house I'm divided. There. The Prime Minister had to take a stance against mm. Warmington. I guess he was, I think he was probably trying to save face for Warmington to mm. say that he resigned. Mm. But Warmington just straight up said, no, i me get fired. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they want to remove him from certain standing committees and other um, things that he's a part of. I know that he said that this is going to be his last year as an elected official. So that's a thing that they're going to have to look forward to replacing him. Mm-hmm. But still, it's like, yeah, I guess it's the safe face. It's nobody wants to be fired, but it's better if you resign. And I think it would probably look better for him if he said, well, yeah, I am I made a really mistake in saying what I said. And for that, I'm taking accountability and responsibility for what I'm doing. It doesn't seem like a house divided. I just never like what any say. <laughs> All right. It's not a house You divided. are talking from your government agent well, status. No, I'm, I'm not, talking from the outside looking anymore. in. I always talk about perception. Mm-hmm. And perception is key. And I think that the perception is right now with these little cracks that people see and say, oh, JLP seem like a house divided while the PNP apply that pressure. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. That's how the election and then the aftermath of the election it just seemed like say, that's the perception right now I'm just i guess saying. if we see more um like problems exactly. with the jlp there one. could i say it, but i just like what two one two? The, it's just with ennis and it's <laughs> and and mr warmington i take accountability or the prime minister is holding mr warmington accountable for his i'm just saying people might notice some little cracks it's not no crack show, show, show. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> no. I'm just Why? saying it's not like that. All right. Got it. Got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and that's that's it for quick fix. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment down below. All right, that's all. <laughs>